Press the power button on the front of the monitor. Note, upon initial startup, the display language can be selected, which affects the time date format and units of measurement. Insert desired hemodynamic technology module and or insert pressure cable. Enter and confirm patient demographics. Then select monitoring technology. Acumen IQ sensor setup. Open the Acumen IQ sensor packaging using aseptic technique. Remove the sensor and kit from the sterile packaging. Replace all caps with non-vented caps and ensure that all connections are tight. Mount the Acumen IQ sensor on an IV pole using the appropriate holder. To remove the air and prime the Acumen IQ system, invert the fluid bag. Spike the fluid bag. Gently squeeze all the air out of the bag with one hand while pulling the flush tab with the other hand until all the air is emptied and the drip chamber is halfway filled. If air is not removed from the bag, air may be forced into the patient's vascular system when the solution is exhausted. Insert the fluid bag into the pressure bag and hang on the IV pole. Do not inflate. With gravity only, no pressure in the bag, flush the Acumen IQ sensor, holding the pressure tubing in an upright position until the column of fluid reaches the end of the tubing. Pressurize the pressure bag until it reaches 300 millimeters of mercury. Connect the bedside monitor's arterial pressure cable to the red cable connector on the Acumen IQ sensor. And plug the green connector from the Acumen IQ sensor to the hemosphere pressure cable. Connect the tubing to the arterial catheter. Level the Acumen IQ sensor to the phlebostatic axis. Open the Acumen IQ sensor to atmospheric air. Hold down the zero button for three seconds to pull up the zero screen. Hold down the zero button for an additional three seconds to zero. Look to the monitor for zero confirmation. Cardiac output will be displayed and will update every 20 seconds thereafter. Zero the bedside monitor to the atmospheric air per monitor's instructions. Return the stopcock to original position and replace cap. Select the screen button to view screens such as graphical trend screen, animated physiology screen, cockpit screen. Animated physiology screen depicts real-time changes occurring in your patient by delivering visual and numeric parameters. Cockpit screen combines large, easy-to-read numbers with specific color target ranges, parameters, and alarms to clearly indicate patient status and monitoring needs. To change a displayed parameter, touch outside the globe you want to change. The selected parameter appears highlighted. The other parameters being displayed are outlined. Available parameters appear without highlights. Touch the parameter you want to replace the current parameter. To change alarms and targets for individual parameters, touch inside the parameter globe and adjust as needed. Silence physiological alarms for two minutes. To pause monitoring, hold down the alarm silence button until a secondary screen appears and select yes. To resume monitoring, Press the same button and confirm.